Before assembly, remove all packaging materials. Dispose of any plastic bags and keep them out of the reach of children to avoid the danger of suffocation. Do not remove the tag on the front handle. Lay down the base column so that the posts with one tab are facing up. Look for the longer leg tube and attach it to the base, making sure the slot on the tube aligns with the tab on the post. Repeat for the other front leg. Pull on both front legs to make sure they are secure. Turn the base column around and insert the short leg tubes into the post. Note these posts have two tabs, which need to align with two slots in the leg tube. Pull on both rear legs to make sure they are secure. Set the base column upright. Then take the base cover and slide it onto the base column. Make sure to line up the cutout in the base cover with the tab on the column. Push down on the base cover until it locks into place. When installed correctly, the Kiko logo will face forward, the same side as the longer front legs. Insert the bassinet support frame into the base column by pushing it into the large square openings on the side with the longer legs. The support frame will click into place. Pull on the bassinet support to make sure it is secure. To attach the bassinet to the base, first, make sure the brake handle is up, which means the brake is locked. Now, turn over the bassinet and locate the three openings on the bottom of the bassinet and the three metal pins on top of the base. Make sure that the openings and pins are all oriented vertically. In rare cases, the four locks at the base of the bassinet may be locked, preventing you from proceeding with the installation. To open the locks, insert a flathead screwdriver in between the light gray bassinet frame and the charcoal gray locking tab. Gently push and slide over the notch while rotating the locking knob until it is in the unlocked position. Place the bassinet onto the base. Make sure to line up the bassinet to the bassinet support and to the three metal pins on the base. Turn the four gray locks on the bottom of the bassinet in the direction of the arrow until they click into place. Check that the bassinet is secured to the base. After securing the bassinet to the base, remove the handle tag and plastic tie. Make sure to dispose of them correctly. Pull up on the top rail sides until they click into place. Make sure both sides are locked in place by pushing down on the top rail. Lock the top rail by sliding the latch button until you can read the word locked. Repeat for the other side. Now, gently press on the floor of the bassinet to ensure all the components are seated correctly. Finally, insert the mattress into the bassinet with the quilted side facing up. Make sure the fabric flaps are tucked flat under the mattress before use. Check that the mattress is flat after inserting. Your close-to-you bedside bassinet is now fully assembled.